Does that feel right? Mm -hmm. I know she's there. Dr. Sean McMillan checks the strength in patient Liz Ford's knee. Liz is one of a growing number of young athletes to undergo surgery after a sports injury. So my freshman year of college, I actually tore my ACL and PCL on my left knee. We see it a little more in females than males, but you know, the more that people start to specialize in one sport, we're seeing it across the board. New research presented at an orthopedic sports medicine conference finds that teen athletes who have knee or leg surgery during high school are at a higher risk for more surgery if they play in college. Dr. McMillan says it's the most common type of injury treated at his Lord's Health System practice. You think about you know athletes tearing their ACLs when they're you know 17, 18, but we're seeing 12, 13 year olds, and again it has to do with that year-round sports getting more involved early, which is a great thing for their health, but unfortunately their muscles aren't developed enough yet, and that's when we see that injury occur. I definitely see it with other people my age with other sports like soccer and lacrosse is a big one I see it with. Overuse is the number one driver behind the data. More students are electing to drop seasonal sports to hone their skills on just one year-round. The problem with that? So if you use the same muscles over and over again, uh, what happens is muscle memory builds up. So when you're called upon to do something different, you don't necessarily have that proprioception or that ability to know where you are in space to use those muscles. That's when injuries tend to happen. So Dr. McMillan runs clinics and camps at schools throughout Burlington County to identify kids who may be at risk. And we'll actually put our athletes um, through different agility drills and look to see how they're landing, how they're running, jumping, and pivoting. If you can isolate out those students that are more prone to have an ACL injury, we can actually retrain their muscles ahead of time to cut down that risk. Separate research presented at that same conference found that teens account for the majority of elbow or Tommy John surgeries, commonly found among pitchers. 15 to 19 year olds make up more than 50 percent of all the surgeries in their data. What we're finding again is anything we can do to get our, our, our young pitchers and our young baseball players to cross train play, maybe a little cross or basketball, is better off for their bodies. Even after athletes have passed their collegiate sports years and made it successfully through multiple surgeries, they still need to be concerned about predisposition for issues as they age. We find that there's always a bit of arthritis that comes along with an ACL surgery. Our goal is to minimize that arthritis. They do that with early intervention. In the case of the knee, Dr. McMillan and his team will look to save the all-important meniscus. Without it, the knee is in trouble. They also encourage continued strength training. Just because I'm not going to physical therapy didn't mean that I could just not work on it, um, strengthening and flexibility on my knee. I had to keep that up, and I still do it to this day. McMillan wants teen athletes to try a variety of sports. He says a well-rounded athlete means well-rounded health. In Burlington, I'm Brianna Venozzi, NJTV News.